Yeah, how y'all doing this about Christmas, man? Happy holidays. I'm Jim Liegeo. Thank you for tuning in to the It's Not So Special Christmas Spectacular. Before we get started, I'd like to give a special thank you to Mr. Tim Pitts for all of his help in filming this. My buddy Dan Martin for listening to this idea while I was driving to Eastern States. My mom, my wife Jody, and my father for giving me this wonderful addiction at the Plainville Stadium in the early 1970s. A huge shout out to Cody and Jerry Higby, Jalopy Charlie Donald, and the entire Orange County Fair Speedway community for their support and filming and the things that I do with my videos. Thank you guys. It's really a lot of fun to get down there and see you. I had a little microphone issue, and these guys, they happen to be the victim. But thank you so much for their time and taking a, a moment to be with us on this show. So thank you all to the drivers who were in it. Thank you to those guys. And we're going to begin now with a quick holiday poem from first time Utica Rome feature winner A.J. Walters, followed by a special Christmas message from the 802's Mrs. Santa. And then it's on to our feature event, 53 Lines of the Twas the Night Before Christmas, performed by the stars of Northeast Dirt Auto Racing. Merry Christmas, Buck, and to all of you at home. I hope you enjoy this. Happy holidays. We'll see you in 2024. I made myself a snowball, as perfect as could be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. Then last night it ran away, but first it wet the bed. I took a lick of a peppermint stick and oh, it was so yummy. It used to be on the Christmas tree, but now it's in my tummy. Twas the night before Christmas went all through the house. House of power, that is. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. In hopes that St. Nicholas soon will we'll be, be there. there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds. While visions of sugar plums danced in their head. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap. I just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash. Three. Tore up in the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow. Gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear? The miniature sleigh and the 18 year reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Nail, dash a nail, dance a nail, prance a. And Vixen, Comet, Uncupid, Undonda, and Blitzen. <laughs> to the top of the porch and to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly. When they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew. With a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawning of each little hoof. As I drew my hand and I was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose was like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. In the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. Santa Claus had a little round belly and a broad face. That shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and pump and right joy old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head. Soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work. And filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose. And giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. God bless. We love you all. Good night. 
Tim, Jim, and I hope that you enjoyed our little ditty with the help of our star-studded cast of characters. It's been our pleasure to spread some holiday cheer. And even though I might not be the bearded old fat guy that slides down your chimney, this is Dan Martin. Along with Tim and Jim, we wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a safe, happy, and healthy New Year. See you in the spring. Ho, ho, ho.